Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, I thought I would give two of the smartest people I know a quick phone call because I'm trying to be most productive on my Chromebook and I'm finding that sometimes it's a little slow or maybe I'm doing things the long way. So I'm wondering if you guys could give me some tips today. Absolutely. Oh, good. So first of all, I heard that I'm supposed to be turning my Chromebook off every once in a while. Is that true? I would. Just to turn it off and back on again, it just keeps it running smoothly. All right, good. So that's a good word because I haven't been doing that. And then the other thing is sometimes it's really slow when I'm downloading things on Screencastify or I'm trying to get places on the Internet. Is there anything that you guys can tell me that will help my um, computer run a little bit faster? Yeah, actually, you could delete your downloads. In order to do that, you would go to the little circle in the bottom left-hand corner, which is called the launcher. Select that. Click on the up arrow. And then go to the file folder, which is blue with a white folder on it. And then select the download folder on the left-hand corner. Oh, so this is where everything goes because these are screenshots that I took. Okay. Well, what you want to do is, first of all, if you want to save those screenshots, you can actually click on it. Okay. You can drag it over into Google Drive. Oh, and I see, I see the little plus green circle there, so I know it's going to drop in. Good. And it saves it there. It copies it. So okay. So that's your download folder. You can actually then select that video again. Okay. If you just want to do a few deletions at a time, you would select it and then click the uh, trash can in the upper right hand corner and delete it. Okay. Or you could also do them all at once. If you've saved everything into your drive, you would select the three dots in the uh, upper right hand corner and select all. And then you can go to the trash can and it deletes everything at once. That's great. So now I have a nice cleaned out Chromebook. Perfect. And the other way would be to clear your cache. And I do it one way, and um, I know there's there's a few different ways to do it. The way I do it is I just hit Control H. So you're saying that after I do that, then I should do this as well? Yes. Okay, so when I'm on Google, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'll just click on something up here, and I'll go to my three dots. You can do it that way. Okay. And then, Beth, go ahead. So then you scroll down to more tools. Okay. And then go over to clear browsing data and that's going to pull up basic and advanced browsing data and what we're not going to actually do is click on it because that'll boot us out of our meet here today but if you do click on that it's going to clear out your browsing data in a snap so uh and your cache so that's um getting to it from a tab that you're already in you go to those three dots in the upper right hand corner down to more tools and then clear browsing data and i know marcy uses a quick shortcut and so let me just say this too though when i'm in here i want to click basic and clear it and then i want to go ahead and click advanced and clear it but we found out the hard way that it'll boot us off if if i do that now right okay so then and so there's a shortcut i i just hit uh control h so control h and that brings up my history good and then on the left it says clear browsing data and it gets you to the exact same spot that beth has so okay Okay, and then that window is going to pop up and I'll clear the basic and as well as the advanced. So then once I do those two things, hopefully my um, Chromebook will be um, going a little bit quicker. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, guys. What do I do? I heard you guys say something about pinning and a shelf. What is a shelf, Beth? So the shelf on your Chromebook is that band that runs along the bar at the bottom. Um, this is something okay. that you can customize and pin frequently used apps. So if you go back to the launcher that um, Marcy was telling you about, so that's that circle in the lower left, and then you click the up arrow, and you find an app that you'd like to pin. So it looks like you've got some pin there, Lauren. We'll go to Google Keep, maybe. Okay. And you're going to right-click on Keep, and then you'll see that you have the ability to pin to shelf. Oh, there it is. Great. It pops up down below on that band. That's great. And I can probably move them around and put them in order. That's perfect. And then what if I don't want that there anymore? Sure. Right click again. And unpin to shelf. That's great. So now I could have those at the bottom of my screen. If I right click on this shelf itself, 
that there is an, um, a default mechanism that keeps it there, but I can also click on auto hide. And that means that as I'm working, it'll hide and give me a little bit more room on my screen. I can also take that and I can move it to the left or I could move it to the right. I'm just gonna put it back down at the bottom. So there's different options with this shelf. Pretty cool. So now I have options at the bottom of my Chromebook for different applications I wanna use, but what about up here with my tabs? Like I have some that are nice and small. Tell me about those, you guys. Mars, go ahead, tell me about pinning and why it's, it's beneficial. So I have a few of mine pinned as well. So you would just, let's say you wanted to pin your, your Gmail. Lauren, if you open your Gmail, you would just right click on that and you could pin it. Okay. And, and I already pinned, I, I did already, I would click pin the tab. Let me try this one. Let me just try this one. So if I want to pin it, so I get a new one. There we go. What happens is it's very small over in the left-hand corner. Now, every time that you close that web browser, any of the um, web pages that you have pinned like that will open up. Like I have uh, FMX, um, my Gmail, my Google Drive pinned so that every time I open up my Chromebook, those three are the ones that come up. That's great. Okay, I love it. So there's also times that I'm working and I wonder if I can speed things up. I wanna split my screen. So I might wanna like copy and paste some things next to each other or just have two things up. Do you guys have any suggestions of how I can do that? Yeah, one of the first things you, you could do is um, minimize in the upper right hand corner, all those tabs. Okay, and that's going to shift it over, and then you're going to drag it over to the right a little bit. And then one of the things I do is oftentimes if I'm in a meet and I also need to be working in my email, for example, you could shift it over to the left or the right, but then you're going to grab whatever tab. So if I want to pull my email out of that, I grab it, pull it out, and then resize that particular window. So to the left, there we go. I just have a little view of um, my, my email there, and then you have the Google Meet on the right. And so it, I, drag it out and then essentially what you're going to do is drag it back in pop it back into the tabs and then go ahead and hit maximize and you're back to your normal full screen and mark has another quick uh, shortcut too and i think this is going to be very beneficial for everyone um yeah I, you can get to the same way that beth did by just clicking the alt and the left bracket key if you want it to go to the left if you want it to go to the right you would hit the alt and the right bracket key you then do the same thing by grabbing the tab and dragging it over and you have split screen. Wow. That's really cool. I'm going to close that up because I don't need it. That's great. Okay. Boy, that'll speed things up. That's for sure. Thanks guys. Um, so an, another question that I have is sometimes I would like to zoom into my screen but I don't always want to go up here to these three dots and click zoom and then it's always stuck there. Are there ways that I can zoom in on something quick, quickly? Sure, you're going to hit control, shift, and the plus sign all at the same time. So control, shift, plus will zoom in. Oh, wow. And then to get out of that view, you're going to hit control, shift, and minus. So I can do it several times. So I'm actually clicking the plus sign several times and then the minus sign several times. That's super cool. Thank you. That's helpful. And that will be in our show notes um, if people don't remember what that is. What if I would like to take a screenshot of something? I just kind of want to know if I take that screenshot, what can I do with it? And how do I take a screenshot? And can I take just a little bit of my screen, not the whole screen? Yeah. Um, actually, there's two ways you could do it. Um, the way I do it is if you just hit the control and the show windows button, which is the sixth one over on the top, it looks like a little square with two lines. Oh, wow. That, that takes a whole screenshot of your entire page. So then I can actually like copy to my clipboard. And if I'm working in something, I can just go ahead and throw it into a slides presentation. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to close that. I took the whole, and that goes right to my downloads. So I could go and find it on my downloads. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I could actually, Marcy, let me show, um, let me show our folks something. If, if I go right here to the files and if I want to, then I'm going to see that. And like you said earlier, I can take that and I can just drag it right into my Google drive. If I just take it now and I have my downloads and I take it, I put it into my drive 
And then again, to keep my Chromebook clean, I can go ahead and just delete it. Love it. Okay. And then you were, I, I interrupted you. You were going to tell me how I could take a picture of a portion of the screen. shift in the show view windows again and then it would get a little plus sign you could actually click and drag and hold and it would just take a screenshot of a partial uh partial view on the web page or whatever you want to copy that's great and then put it back to your clipboard again super helpful thank you guys i have just a couple more quick questions i'm i'm using i'm typing and i i get crazy because i only have a backspace button how can I just plain delete? On the Chromebook, you're just going to hit Alt and Backspace at the same time. Okay. Alt and Backspace is going to delete one at a time. Okay. So Alt and Backspace. And then is there a way I can delete an entire word? Yep. yep, yep. Control and Backspace. Just Control and Backspace? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the other thing that I noticed, you guys, was I can click on these tabs up top and I can change my different screens according to what tab I want to be looking at. But I also noticed that if I take three fingers, I can take them and I can just scroll across the top and it also will take me to those different screens. So I thought that was kind of cool, a quick way of doing things as well. Speeding, speeding up my productivity. Anything else that you guys want to add about Chromebooks? Yeah. Beth, peace. Peace and two finger push on the trackpad. So this is the right click, okay? Uh -huh. I know that uh, you guys will share how you do it. I take the two finger push and, and I click in the lower right hand corner of the trackpad and that will bring up the right click. I know oftentimes we're used to using a mouse and you can always purchase a Bluetooth mouse if you'd like or a wired mouse, but um, on the Chromebook, if you're working without a mouse, to get that right click, it's a two finger push. Okay. And then you, you go ahead, Marcy. I was just gonna say I just I don't actually push, I tap, but it's personal preference. Yeah, you can just do the exact same thing. And sometimes it's if it's finicky, I'll try both and see which one works because it can get yeah. kind of irritating. Yeah, I should be really working productively and quickly today. I'll probably get done more today than I have in five weeks. I cannot thank you guys enough, and I hope to be calling you again soon to find out more about how I can speed up my productivity. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.